Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven675 for Gaming and welcome back to another mono game micro tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to be looking at setting our window to full screen, setting our game to full screen. So the first thing we want to do is go to File, New, Project, and we're going to call this full screen. Uh, now, to note, um, this is just how you set it to full screen. Uh, in a real game application, you obviously want a way to toggle it and handle screen resolution and stuff. And we'll cover that stuff in a way bigger tutorial, like a full-blown game tutorial. Uh, but we are not going to do it in this tutorial, mainly because, well, quite frankly, that would just be absurd. Um, and we need to go into our initialization method and set our... I'm going to make a little comment here. Set our resolution and allow full screen. Okay, so if you've watched the other tutorial series... Uh, you should know by now how to set the, yeah, let's see, this laptop is 1080. Okay, so you should know how to set the width and height. I'm just doing this because I don't want my, well, I just I just want it to be a beautiful 1080p, to be completely honest with you. Um, also, I, why did I set that? 1920, there we go, because it's a 1080p monitor. And then what we want to do is graphics.is full screen. And it is true. And then graphics dot apply changes. Hopefully this doesn't uh, mess up the screen recorder. But um, and as I said in the last uh, tutorial when we covered uh, setting our resolution, you have to do apply changes. Otherwise, it won't be able to. And uh, it would be really, really easy to set this to uh, say hit enter and then switch it, you know, back in and out. Um, but we're not actually going to do that. Okay. So we're going to hit F five. At least we're not going to do that in this tutorial series. And it went black. And now it's blue. Awesome. So now there you go. We have our beautiful, glorious 1080p window. Um, and you're going to have to Alt F4 out of it or Tab, but Alt F4 works. Um, and there you go. So uh, that is that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, if you like this tutorial series, don't forget you can support me on Patreon. Link to it found in the description below. And also, uh, don't forget that uh, if you have any tutorial suggestions, please let me know. Just reply in the comment section and uh, I'll check it out when I get around. All right. Thank you guys for watching.